Hello and welcome. Well, if a green creature approached me from out of space and asked me to show it a good day out, I would, without a moment's hesitation, take it unswervingly to Geelong. Gee, it's great to be back. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. And welcome to my co-commentator and Richmond goal-kicking legend, Matthew Richardson. Yes, thanks, Dennis. Real pleasure to be here for this game today. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. The Eagles winning the toss. Waiting for the siren now. The first quarter has begun. My thoughts before a big game were usually pretty simple. I'd tell myself to stick to your game and you'll win. He has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. Handball finds Shuey. Tapped by Stewart. Stanley aims for his man on the ground. Kept alive under pressure. Gets a handball away. The Rats has the ball. Low spearing kick. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 40 meters out. Lecrack launches one towards goal. So close, but just misses. Point the difference. Might have to kick it to himself. Marked by Duncan. Choose to kick it. Yeo marks it. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Now that miss could prove costly. The Eagles by two points. Henderson is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Duncan puts it out of bounds on the full. He lines it up with the goal. Puts boot to ball. He takes a strong mark. McGovern kicks the ball. Burlow claims the ball. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice strong mark. Tui feeds it wide. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. An easy interception for Redden. He handballs it. McGovern aims for his man on the ground. Dangerfield gathers it. Hand passes. Gets boot to leather. Menzel taps, scoops up the bouncing ball. Gets boot to high. Lyset has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Lyset has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Shuey with the kick. Archie really forced to earn that mark. Puts boot to ball. Cramery marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Selwood marks it. He boots it. Kept his composure then. Redden for the low spearing kick. A great effort. He kicks the ball. He drops the mark. Redden gets it off the ground. He boots it. Shuey with the mark. Boots it. Great mark under pressure. Kicked by Duggan. He has space for an easy mark. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Selwood. He's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable and he requires a watchful eye at times. Taylor has an opportunity to steal the lead. Hutchings gets a fist to it, sending it on its way. It's a mark. Duggan sends the ball on its way. Schofield gets the upper hand, choose to kick it. He spent that one before he had it. Gathered by Dangerfield. Stanley has the ball. Doesn't cover much ground with that kick. He has to hold on to those. Looted by Barance. 
picked by Cripps. Strong man. Stanley sends one up towards the wing. He controls the bouncing ball. Selwood throws it clear as day. Boots it. Pointless attempt by Cripps. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. The Rats with the tap. Selwood picks up the loose ball. Deft touch from Selwood. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Works it across the ground. Smith is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Kept his composure then. Puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. Cripps boots it. Strong mark there. Puts boot to ball. Dangerfield just wanted it more then. Dangerfield sends one up towards the wing. Nice hands. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Shuey. Jams it on the boot. Schofield with the mark. Gets boot to high. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Duggan with the torpedo. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Perlow sends one up towards the wing. Nice contested mark by Shuey. Shuey, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Stewart marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Barras with the mark. He puts power behind that kick. Lucky bounce collected. I set with the ball. And he's heading for home. McGovern takes the mark uncontested. He kicks it. Richo, what can we say about that attempt? Well, I think you've just got to take him off after that. The Eagles by three points. He has a few options. Thurlow controls it. The umpire will ball it up. Smith got the hit out. Tapped by Theo. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Ablett there to mop it up. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Guided by Stanley. It'll be a ball up. Good tap from Smith. He collects the loose ball. A torp from Dangerfield. Richo, your thoughts on the first quarter. The Cats need to break the scoring momentum that we're seeing. They need to rotate their flexible personnel and alter the trend of the game. A low-scoring quarter. Let's hope it picks up next turn. We'll go to Richo for the stats. Both teams fairly close in the tackling stats. Geelong, seven. West Coast, four. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even, with West Coast on seven and Geelong on four. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. A quick break and we're back at it. Second quarter action underway. I said try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Lucky bounce collected. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Hutchings taps it. Gregson guides it. Sends it on its way. Schofield takes it well. Sends it on its way. Marked by Ablett. Ablett's just got a lot of tricks in the bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. Kept his composure then. 40 minutes from home. Menzel will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. He'll be happy with that. The first goal for Menzel. Goal. That's the first one of the game. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Menzel with the goal, and he runs back into position. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Clean tap by Smith. The bouncing ball is controlled. It'll be a ball up. Smith guides it. He's got the footy in his hands. Ablett kicks it. Minangolet marks it. 
This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Kicking from about a 30-degree angle here. Duggan has it. Duggan. He's got good knowledge of the game, and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. That's a mark. Pollard Jasny puts his boot on it. Dangerfield with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Gregson gets the upper hand. Stabs the ball. A great effort. Works it across the ground. Nice work from Menzel. Goes towards half forward. McCarthy aims for his man on the ground. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. McCarthy taps it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Finding the running player. Duggan controls it. Handballs from the tackle. Nice interception. Gains possession. Dangerfield starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. Shepard kicks it a long way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Shuey is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Schofield boots it. Archie with good, strong hands. Sending it on its way. Lyset marks the ball. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Tantalizingly close. Behind. The Eagles trail by less than a goal. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. 30 meters out. Going for goal number one. A magnificent kick right through the middle. He sinks his first goal. West Coast get back on top again. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Celebration time after that one for McGovern. More bounce than a dodgy check. Tap to advantage. He's got the footy in his hands. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Lysette with the punch. Thurlow gets the tap. Shuey guides it. Gathered by Eo. He gathers the loose ball. Marked by Taylor. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Going for goal number one. Taylor just gets it through. He sinks his first goal. On top goes the Cats. Taylor is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Taylor with the goal, and he runs back into position. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Smith is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. He gets boot to the ball. Hutchings hand passes the ball. Lyset with the kick. Dangerfield with a strong mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. That play is as high tech as it can for. Guided by Dangerfield. Shuey chucks the ball away. A short handball. Archie just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. A good fist. Selwood with the ball. Smith with the hit. Dangerfield has the ball. Big man does nicely. Duggan guides it. Deft touch from Thurlow. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Chips it down towards half forward. That was all Menzel. Boots it. What a strong mark. He kicks it. Pure skill. Pure skill. Geelong by eight points. Taylor is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion.
There's one for the time capsule. Smiles all round. Look at that bounce. Clean tap by Smith. A favorable bounce. Umpire calls for the ball. Smith aims for his man on the ground. Tapped by Grips. Good tap from Duggan. To it decisively. Tapped by Grips. Deft touch from Eo. Collar Jasney throws it clear as day. Choose to kick it. And the mark will be paid. The Cats haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks, and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Eagles. The ball is out of bounds. And the umpire will throw it in. It's tapped down nicely. Duggan by hand. Kicked by Shuey. Lecrack marks it. Seconds remaining in this quarter. Lacroix, that will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. All is in readiness. The bounce. Good fist. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Selwood gets the tap. The ball in the hands of Lysette. That's it for the second quarter. What do you think of it now, Richard? I'd expect the coach will be asking for more of the same in the second half with a first-half performance like that. Richard, now with his stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Enlightening, Richo. One half down, one to go. The third term is underway. The best athletes in the world are those willing to push harder than anyone else and go through more pain than anyone else too. Smith sends the ball on its way. Redden taps it. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The umpire has thrown it in. Smith thumps it forward. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Clean tap by Dangerfield. The spilled ball is collected. He has the ball. He runs for home. A lovely drop punt. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Taylor with a kick at goal. Nice work from Taylor. Geelong by eight points. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. A dead straight bounce. Smith thumps it forward. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young lethal Lee Matthews. Behind posts should be cowering in field. McCarthy lets fly with a shot at goal. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. McCarthy getting his first right there. McCarthy will want to try and wheel around onto his favoured foot, but he's still very capable on the other. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, 
They wait for the bounce. Punch by Smith. Vardy made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Sends the Sharon on its way. Dangerfield with the mark. Boots it. Hands like dinner plates. Jams it on the boot. A good job keeping it in play there. Kicks it. Marks. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Gets boot to high. Hutchings looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Wins the hardball. West Coast just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Puts boot to ball. Archie with a strong mark. Puts power behind that kick. The mark will be paid. 45 metres out. Yeo with the shot. He picks it up. Stewart throws the ball. Free kick. Going for goal number two. Fantastic goal by McGovern. The Eagles will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. My set nicely outclassing Smith. Tui with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. A solid mark from Taylor. 50 metres out. Looking for another goal here. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Takes the mark all by himself. Chewy with the kick. Archie, the better man there. West Coast haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Dangerfield taps the ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. McCarthy with good strong hands. Hastily kicked. Smith getting into position for the kick. 50 metres from home. Goes for his 50. Menzel got under it. 35 metres out. You back him from this position. Menzel takes a shot. Chalk up a goal for the Cats. Menzel kicks number two. The Cats with a handy break, leading the Eagles 36 to 22. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. He loves it. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Good bounce. Smith with the punch. Dangerfield with the football. The ball goes over the line. Thrown in majestically. Smith hits it. Chewy onto the ball. Choose to kick it. Nice mark there. Vardy takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Meningola has the ball. He can't bring that mark down. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Lie set. Handballs to the man on the move. That's a mark. The Rats kicks. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Dangerfield with an easy mark. Kicks it. Good mark on the run. Ablett puts his boot on it. A good contested mark there. Here's a chance for Taylor. Choose to kick it. Menzel has it. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. You wouldn't believe it. It shaved the goal post. The Cats by 15 points. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Taylor with the running catch. Geelong leads by 21. Taylor on his wrong foot isn't his preferred option, but he's still competent enough off that foot. A 
That replay shows just how good that goal was. He loves it. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. My set punches. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Ball up in the center square. Lice set. Hits it. Tapped. Archie passes it. McGovern with the kick. That's a nice strong mark. Lecrack shoots. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. West Coast won't be happy to see that scoreboard. There's one for the time capsule. Celebration time after that one for Lacroix. Smith nicely outclassing Blyset. Menzel gets the ball. Kicked at goal by Menzel. It goes through for a behind. The Cats in front. There could be a short option here. Strong mark by McCarthy. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. McCarthy takes a shot. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. McCarthy for the second goal. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. McCarthy chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball is bounced. Lysette gets the tap. Able to grab it on the half volley. Ablett puts it on the boot. A mark by Redden. Bumps the pigskin. That was an interesting term right there. Your thoughts, Richo? With the Eagles, the only way I see for them to overcome is to hang on. Let's see what the stats have to show. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. West Coast, 22. The Cats, 15. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. The pressure's on. It's the final quarter. Ingenuity plus courage plus work equals miracles. Gets a handball away. Kicks. Nelson taps. McKenzie with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He's got the football now. Cripps onto the ball. Shuey on the ball at the moment. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richo. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Ball up in the center square. A good fist. The loose ball is collected. Tap. Sheed gets possession. Barras hand passes the ball. That's a great goal. That replay shows just how good that goal was. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. A dead straight bounce. Lysett with a big fist on it. And we have a ball up. Smith with the tap. Tap by Barance. Guided by Thurlow. Ball up in the center square. Effective hit out there. The Rass taps it. Schofield picks it up. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Kicks. 
Shi takes the mark uncontested. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Pillow over the top. That came off the boot with huge power. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Dangerfield, he's a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on field around him. Cripps hits it. Sheed running in now. Lacroix marks the ball. Having a big day going for goal number four. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. That's number four. Two goals can bring this back for West Coast. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Lecrac celebrates. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Guided down nicely by Smith with the quick hands. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Sweeping handball. Nelson marks. The ball has gone over the boundary line on the full. Minangola pumping it long. Well, he gave it a shot. A good job keeping it in play there. Well, he tried and he failed. We'll have a throw in. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Guided down nicely by McKenzie. Tui gets it on the bounce. The ball goes over the line. The ball going back to the players right now. They set totally outclassed in that contest. McCarthy approaching home now. He really should have made more of that. The Cats leads by 11. Shepard assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Kicks it. He wins the contest. Nice drop pass. Schofield got under it. Schofield. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Collar Jasny slams the ball to his boot. Gaff kicks the ball. Duggan with a strong mark. He boots it. Archie with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Yo marks it. Too far out to score, surely. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Gets the behind. Two goals would change the lead in favor of West Coast. The Cats just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. He gets boot to the ball. Dangerfield gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. Tui marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Gets the loose ball. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. He goes for home. Misses the goal and goes through for a behind. The Eagles won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. An easy grab for McGovern. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. McGovern did well then. That's number three. The intensity is building as time to close the margin disappears. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. He's excited about that one. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. I said there's a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Smith. Dropped by Minangola. Tapped by Tui. Tapped by Taylor. Tuick with the tap. And he's heading for home. It's kicks like that when players find out this really is a game of centimeters. Geelong by four points. There could be a short option here. Shepard kicks to himself. Boots it. Gregson got under it. 
He's a long kick. Nelson grabs that one. Nelson may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He gathers the ball. Cripps gets onto the ball. Cripps making a questionable decision there. Gee, a long kick there. Ablett marks the ball. Sends it on its way. Takes that one strongly. Minangolit sends the ball on its way. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Nice work from Smith. Geelong by turn. Smith is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Smith with the goal, and he runs back into position. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. I set with the tap. Gaff has the ball. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Kicked by Thurlow. It was all his. Primary. He's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Puts boot to ball. Selwood with the mark. Tui takes the opportunity. Meningola has the football. Puts boot to ball. He wins the contested mark. Puts boot to ball. Grips with the tap. Tap by Tui. Tapped by Duggan. He picks up the loose ball. Stanley gets it out of the crowd. Drops the ball. The Eagles couldn't do it. Geelong players seemed to adapt to the conditions a little better. They moved the ball forward quickly and didn't try to over-finesse the ball. It was a great team win for them. At the end of the game, the Cats are leading West Coast 58 to 48. That's it for this match. Thanks to my co-commentator, Matthew Richardson. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.